Hey everybody and welcome back for another cigar review. And this time I'm doing the new Camacho Blackout. There's the, that's the box they come in. A new beautiful looking box right there. And uh, Davidoff sent me this box to, uh, to review. And just look at this box, it's just awesome looking. Nice lacquered finish. And this is actually cut into the top of the box. That beautiful looking scorpion there. It's pretty awesome. Actually has a felt bottom as well. But uh, anyway, as you open up the box itself, as you can see, it can, it comes with this, well, this is the blackout here, but it has this little booklet here. And the little booklet talks about uh, the different uh, parts of the cigar and everything. It talks about the scorpion saying how it's a protector of tobacco. It gives a little uh, brief little overview of some of the tobaccos in there, stuff like that, and where the, the regions that they're from. You open up the tissue paper. And see the cigars in there itself right there this is the Figurardo pretty nice size cigar there I'm going to take one of these out right now close this box up it's a pretty interesting cigar that they've made here anyway let me give you a little show the book here so you just it's got different things on it like that and the regions and it's got two different you know three different little pages here Really neat. That's pretty cool to put that in there. I think that was a great idea. Anyway, the uh, Figurardo just comes in at 6 and 8 by 42 by 54. Let me take this out and show you this thing before I give you the description of it. It has a huge freaking band on there. You can see that. It says blackout across it. Make sure I got it. Oh, I have it upside down. It's black on black embossed. You see it's really really dark wrapper. Anyway, the MSRP on these is about twelve fifty. And the why this this it's a limited edition cigar for Camacho. And what makes it uh so unique is the the fermentation process that Camacho did for this cigar. They took the, the wrapper leaf uh, it's a Honduran wrapper, Honduran binder, and Brazilian Honduran and Nicaraguan filler. And each each of those uh, different tobaccos are aged differently. Uh, the the wrapper is actually from, let's see, the wrapper is grown in 2006, binder from 2009. The fillers are from 2003, 2008, and 2009. And then after the cigar is rolled, it's aged for an additional two years beyond that. So it's definitely a well-aged cigar. Uh, I'm going to read you this little thing from Camacho where they said about the wrapper. Basically, this, uh, it says the top few thirds of the plant was fermented differently than most of the tobaccos. The process known as press fermentation was used by placing additional weight on top of the pilones. And a, what a pilone is, is a, is a big pack of tobacco. It's like a big stack of it. And they rotate this for, firm, the, uh, for, the, for the fermentation of it. And they'll stick this long uh, thermometer in it and to gauge the temperature. And they actually write on the sheet the times that they check the temperature, what day it was on, and what the temperature was that day. And at, at a certain temperature, they'll, they'll, they'll change the tobacco over. Well, what they did was they said they pressed, they put more weight on top of the pilon to press it down to make it ferment a little bit differently. Uh, let's see. With, with it said they do that, it, it intensifies internal temperature. Uh, tobaccos work hard but carefully and allow longer than usual resting period once the packed in bales for aging. The leaves from the top two thirds of the plant get additional sun ripening, which boosts the levels of sweetness with additional sugars being created during the process of photosynthesis. Heavy oils noticed on the wrapper leaf as a result of the plant's natural defenses to protect, protect itself from creating more oils or uh, the fin off against the sun's glare, basically. Uh, pretty complicated. But anyway, you can see it does make a very, very dark wrapper. Take a look at that again. Now I explain all that. I mean, it is really dark. Anyway, let's go ahead and check this cigar out. Take off this bottom band here. And... 
the bottom band, it just, I don't know if you can see what it is, but it's got this little scorpion, it's a tobacco plant on it, and it says uh, Built Bold on the bottom of it. So, pretty cool. Really earthy. I'll cut this thing, we'll see how it goes. What's really neat, it's got a really rich, really rich earthy flavor to it, but it also gets a nice coffee note from it too. And a real sweet tobacco note. Um, I don't know if, if, if you've ever had, uh, you know, chewing tobacco, when you open up the, the pack for the first time, that, that real rich, sweet uh, smell that you get off of it, or some pipe smokers, like when you get a Virginia blend, uh, like 5100 or something like that, and you smell that, that, that sweet Virginia tobacco, that's, that's what I get off this right off the bat. Really nice. Really good flavor. Anyway, let's light this thing up. I get like a, a really rich uh, chocolatey note right off the bat of this cigar. There's a nice little leatheriness to it and a, a, an earthiness to it also. Really rich, rich tobacco flavors. That's a pepper note too. Is our, on the retro hill get a little bit more spice. Just the they get that there's a there's a nice spice, but I can't really it's like pepper. It's like it's like a black pepper, but there's a little bit more to it than that. It's a little more savory, but it's on the I get it on the back of the palate. I get more black pepper when I red the cigar. So, so far it's off to a really nice start. Uh, I'm going to smoke this at the halfway point. I'll be back to let you know how it is. I'll see you in a second. Everybody, I'm back. See, so I'm at the halfway point, right where the band starts at, too. I think it's time to take that off. So, it is a humongous band. <laughs> see that? I think it's massive. Anyway, the cigar is very, very flavorful. I get a nice, rich earthiness, uh, a sweet chocolate note, a little bit of coffee note, a, a lot of uh, pepper now, uh, and I'm getting a nice leatherness to it also. And every now and then I, I get like a nice uh, nuttiness to it also, but it's a little bit fleeting. I don't get it too much. It kind of comes in and out, but really flavorful cigar ton of smoke on it it's actually actually burning pretty good it's got it's a little bit off but that's when i lit it it kind of kind of was lit at an angle and it's kind of stayed that way all the way down but uh really nice it actually holds on for quite a while i've only actually tapped that off one time so this is held on really nice one thing i forgot to mention in the beginning of the video was the different sizes it comes in and it's kind of unique. Being it's a limited edition, you wouldn't expect to have five different sizes in this cigar, but there are. You have the Figurata, which I already discussed. You have a Churchill, which is a 7x48, a Toro 6x50, a Robusto 5x50, and a Gordo 6x60. I hate that size, but it's a popular 
cigar. It's a big seller. I know it sucks. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and finish the cigar off, and I'll give you my conclusions in a minute. See you in a second. But I'm back at the end of the cigar now. It's a really tasty cigar, but it, it doesn't change very much. Basically, I'm getting the same flavors, except now I'm actually getting more pepper than I did before. And the thing is, it's not a real, uh, I mean, it's a lot of pepper, but it's not a real sharp, potent pepper. I guess it's from the age, the, how long they've aged a cigar and let it sit. But, I mean, it's a lot of pepper, but it really doesn't bite you like you would think it would, you know. But, really nice cigar. Get the, I still get the cocoa. It's not as sweet anymore, but I still get the cocoa. There's some nuttiness to it, rich earthiness, the leather, all that is still there. But the pepper is definitely came to the forefront and the sweetness is gone. But maybe because the sweetness is gone, the pepper just is more dominant now because of that. Not real sure if the pepper went, got, you know, was more full now because of that or I'm just noticing it more because the sweetness is gone. Either way, there's a lot more pepper on the back end of the cigar. When you retrohale it, you really get a lot of spice. But uh, I'd say it's a really, really good smoke. I really enjoy this. Probably the fourth or fifth one I've smoked out of the box. And it's not complex, but it's got really good flavor. And I have to say, the, the strength on this is supposed to be really strong. But to me, it's it's full, but it's not as full as you would they would make you think it would be. It's, it's kind of the low end of full, but it's got a ton of flavor. I really wouldn't recommend this for mild cigar smokers. But, you know, people that smoke mediums all the time... You could jump to this and definitely smoke it and enjoy it, you know, really, really nice. But, I mean, people think Camacho, they think that full-bodied, strong powerhouse. But, I mean, I guess nowadays, with the, with the stuff that's out now, I mean, the, I mean, stuff now that's like just pure power and it's like hardly any flavor. It's just made to kick you in the mouth. That's pretty much it. This isn't, this isn't like that. It's full body, but it's really smooth and flavorful. It's really good, good smoke. I definitely recommend it, especially for the price point. I think it's worth that. So definitely go out and check this cigar out. Uh, I wouldn't mind trying this uh, in the other size. I've only had the Figurado, but I really wouldn't mind trying the Robusto or the Toro too. I have absolutely no desire to try this, the, uh, the Gordo, but I'm sure that would actually smoke pretty well in this, to be honest. Just because I think it would be even more smoother and mellower in that size. But it's just not a comfortable size for me to smoke. But I actually think it would be really good in this blend. So if you like 6 by 60 you definitely should check that one out. Because I think it would be really good in this, this blend. But uh, anyway, it's a great cigar. I highly recommend it. Go check it out and see you next time.